right, guys. Welcome. This is another little uh, update here for the Blueprint Visual Scripting for Unreal Engine 5 3rd Edition um, regarding Chapter 7, pages 174 to 177. It's a small piece, uh, but it's regarding the tracking of the ammo and targets eliminated. Um, the reason for this update is because of the new enhanced input action system, um, the default first person shooter template is no longer set up as described in the textbook where um, tracking our ammo counts and our players eliminated are tracked in the player character blueprint. Um, they're no longer there. So we need to go into the proper scripts, make reference to our player character in order to manipulate the HUD elements. So if I could show you real quick. So this is, like I said, page 174. Um, which means you need a couple of things complete before you'll be able to do this step. Um, one of the things you need to have finished is your HUD elements. So you'll notice um, that I have here my health and stamina, targets eliminated at zero, and ammo 30. Um, now if I go pick up the gun and I start firing, my ammo does not count down. Okay, so, you know, we got to fix that. Um, the other thing you're expected to have done before you'll be able to go forward is you'll need to have your cylinder blueprint finished. So that should be the um, the target here that changes color and then is destroyed on the second attack. So it should look like this. And there you have it. Now we can set up um, our HUD to track our ammo and count down from 30 and track targets eliminated. Um, so here we go. So remember, this would be um, at the part where you get to page 174, um, tracking the ammo and targets eliminated. So we'll start first with the reducing the ammo counter. So first I'll draw your attention to our content browser where we should have a folder uh, labeled UI. And inside of that, if we go inside, we'll see the UI that we've created. Now, if we check out our graph for, um, we're going to do the ammo counter first. So we check out our graph for the ammo counter, and if you're following your textbook, um, you would have created this text bind right here um, on the on the number 30 for the ammo left part. So if we go into the graph, you'll notice in our graph that um, our count goes from get player character, um, cast a first person character, the target's eliminated. Um, sorry. What the? Perhaps mine is done wrong. One sec. Oh no, here we go. Ammo left. It's the same thing, anyways. Yeah. So we get player character. We cast the first person character. Um. Player current ammo. Um, and the return. Okay. Now. There's another way we could go about this. Um, we could cast to um, a different location, um, but I'm trying to simply modify to fit the instruction here in the textbook. So like anything in game design, um, there's many ways to do things, and this might come across as a little bit kind of um, extra or, you know, um, convoluted, but we are sending our ammo to our first person character. So then we're going to have to draw a reference from our first person character onto our ammo in order to get, to get a count. So here's what we're going to do. Um, we're going to go into our content browser and we're going to go into um, our first person character blueprint and blueprints. Now, if you are following the textbook or if you take a look at the textbook or if you remember what Unreal Engine was like in the past, um, this would have been a much smaller folder. Um, but now we have a couple of extra things in here, um, such as this projectile, the gun, um, and the weapon component. Um, the weapon component is where we are going to add the um, ability to count down our ammo. So if we double click on this, and we come inside of here, and the first thing we're going to see um, is this blueprint here. Um, so this was set up by the template, Right, it's got all wonderful comments and all that stuff. Um, and if we look here at our 
uh, projectile spawn logic. Um, we've got the input action of shoot. Um, so every time we pull the trigger, um, a ball is spawned, and then the sound effect is played, and so on. So basically, somewhere in here, when the ball is fired, is when we want to count our ammo down from 30. So what I'm going to choose to do here is after the um, play sound at location, which again, if you're following your textbooks, um, that's where they would have had you place it originally. Um, I'm going to place that counting right here. So I'm going to grab this montage play section um, and just pop it over to the side here real quick. All right, with the montage out of the way, um, we are going to um, cast to our first person character uh, in order to get reference to the HUD element that we've sent over there. Uh, we need to get our player character reference. Okay. Um, then off of this as the BP first person character, we should now be able to get our ammo. Um, do, 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 get our ammo left. Sorry, wrong one. We need to get ammo. Get player current ammo. There we go. So now that we have access to our get player current ammo HUD element, uh, we need to do a little math. So we are going to subtract. Um, so we grab ourselves a little subtract node, um, and I'm going to add a one in here. So every time um, this will read, every time the trigger is pressed, um, a projectile will spawn, an audio cue will be played, and then it'll access our HUD element, find our player's current ammo, and take one away, which then now we will need to change the number of our player ammo. So we'll set the player ammo, hook this up to our execution here, and that should do it. Um, so we plug this back into the montage play. We can bring that back over here a little bit. Um, we can grab this, press C, and add the ammo is counted here. Um, and that should do that. So if we compile, oops. Oh, we need reference to our player character. So um, just like so. Uh, compile and save. Um, I believe probably could do without the cast, but uh, this should still work. Um, so now if I grab my gun and fire, my ammo now counts down. Um, so now that we've got ammo counting down, let's go ahead and get it so that our target's eliminated here uh, on the top of our HUD, which right now reads zero, will count upward. So for that, we are going to need to go find our um, target elements here. So you should have a blueprint folder of your own where you made this um, BP cylinder target based on the textbook. So anybody who's watching this and doesn't understand what I'm doing here, um, if you have this textbook and you're following along and you're up to page 174, um, you should have all of this done, no problem. So we're gonna enter into our target cylinder. This later on in the textbook will get changed um, to turn to become our um, AI and stuff and different enemies running around and aggroed and whatnot. But for now, um, what we're gonna do here is if we have a look here, we've got our hit event. Um, so this is where our target right now, um, when it's hit the first time, we've created a variable of primed. Right, and prime by default is set to false. So off the false branch, it changes color. For me, it changes to red, right? And then it also changes primed to true. So now that primed is set to true, and if it, we hit an object the second time off of true, we now spawn a sound at the location, an emitter is spawned, and the actor is destroyed. Um, so we can't do anything after the destroy actor because we can't count something that doesn't exist. Right. Once this node is activated, it and everything before it literally disappears. 
Um, so what we'll do here is we will disconnect the destroy actor and we'll place our ability to count targets eliminated right here um, in between spawn emitter at location and destroy actor. Um, so exactly like we just did for counting the bullets up or sorry down, um, we need to get reference to our player. So um, we can go um, get player character. Okay, um, this one I believe we don't need to cast. Uh, no, maybe we do. Let's just do it anyways. Um, so we can now cast to first person character. So cast to the BP first person character. We can plug that into here. We'll move that over a little bit more. Okay, so now this has given us access to our first person character where our HUD element was set up, where we have something called Targets eliminated. So I can show you that real quick if you'd like to see. So if I go into my HUD, you can see here we have um, something called uh, target count and it targets eliminated, right? Um, so we need to access that. And now that we have access to our first person player, we can go ahead and search for target get targets eliminated just like this now we're going to do something a little different rather than adding one and then setting the number to add one um, because we're already starting at zero um, we just need to add one to whatever that number is every single time so this time what we're going to do is off of targets eliminated we're going to do an incremental increase and that needs to be the increment integer Okay, we click on this, and what this is going to do is automatically add one every time that it's triggered. So we plug this into our first person character. We'll plug this into our destroy actor, um, and that should be that. Um, our script should now be able to count down targets eliminated. So if we compile and save and go back to our first person character, I already have a target in the scene. So now if I grab my gun and I go over to the target and I fire once, turns red, second time, it explodes, the sound is played. And as you can see above, targets eliminated one. Um, so uh, that is how you update or set up the... Um, the ammo count and the targets limited count from this book's chapter seven, pages 174 to 177. As I said before, if you don't have the previous uh, sections complete, um, you won't be able to do this part. So, um, yeah, good luck. Thank you, everybody. Have fun.